On the sidelines of the ninth edition of Togo's International Fashion Festival, known as FEMO, local universities are taking the opportunity to ask probing questions about the state of the world and the power of clothing. So how exactly does a lawyer specialised in public law fit into the picture? You'll find fashion within the realm of constitutional law because fashion is a way of expressing certain fundamental freedoms, freedom of expression, that is, in the way you choose to dress. For example, when you wear a t-shirt with a message on it, a logo or an image, that's a legitimate form of self-expression, not with words but with fashion. Jury member Kai Dogbe is the main sponsor of this year's festival. She dedicates much of her time to researching the phenomenon of the sapeur. Sapology was used during the colonial period as a means of countering colonial domination. But it also lived on after all those countries won their independence in the post-colonial era. When Presidents Mobutu and Sassou Nguesso came to power, and they, too, ruled in an autocratic way. That's when the movement really took off. And it really was a movement, a rallying cry for social democracy. SAP stands for the Society of Ambianceurs and Elegant People and first exploded in Brazzaville and Kinshasa, Congo in the 60s. It's since travelled across the continent. You know, among us sapologists, as we're known, we talk about respecting colour codes. That means that when you're getting dressed, you never put on more than three colours at once, two, three colours max. Those are the rules, but when you've mastered that, then you're really free to play with it however you want to, because what's important is the finished product. And FEMA is a festival born of hybrid combinations and innovative pairings. I use European fabric to make African outfits, accompanied by African accessories. It's really about mixing different influences. So yes, it really is about bringing those two worlds together. Darkness and light, yin and yang. 29-year-old designer Fabrice Hueji is here from Mali to present his latest collection. His label is called Daka Tigui, Bambara for master of his destiny. The main aim of the new generation is to encourage people to think differently, encouraging them to support local production. When we speak about illegal immigration, what's pushing young people to consider leaving is unemployment. But we're young designers, we work with artisans. We also work with a lot of people around us. We collaborate with a lot of people. And actually, by working with all these extra people, we're tackling unemployment because it helps the economy. For this generation, striving to have a positive impact on the world isn't about following trends, it's a necessity. And Marussia Rebecca is a veteran of the cause. I like to work with raw materials as my starting point. For me, it's really the clothes themselves that I'm inspired by. And by developing my practice over the course of 18 years, I've developed lots of different techniques, which means that I now know all the things I can do with a pair of jeans, for example. Of course, I still have a lot of things to discover. Creatively speaking, there are almost an infinite number of things you can do to transform an item of clothing. And with time, I've grouped different types of clothes, according According to how I can transform them. If you think about all the recycled clothes that are donated, there are tons of clothes that arrive in Africa from Europe. And I think it's particularly relevant to show an upcycling collection here, so that people get to see what can be done with these clothes. Ethical fashion is also a calling for Jennifer Rowen, who splits her time between Lagos, Nigeria and Lome. I went to the market after, you know, and I found clothes from so many countries but you know Pascal that I only go to that market when they're ready to burn everything there is either torn or stained if you look properly and I found China India Scotland I found England my England um, and so that's why you see a lot of tweed I called it five destinations it goes around the world and it ends up here but 
But I also th think that I've used the word recycle, upcycle. They are upcycled. But this time, I think the message is let us love our clothes. Students also shone a spotlight on the issue of plastics pollution by mixing raffia and transparent vinyl. We're Togolese, so we had the impulse to mix everything together to really show off the best side of this ancestral land. The ninth edition of FEMO is daring, intelligent and committed to tackling the major social and environmental problems of the day, while crucially celebrating Africa's savoir-faire.